Hey there, service pros. This is Christian from the Workies product team. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up call forwarding in Workies. In Workies, forwarding calls is a part of call flows. A call flow is just a rule that details how incoming calls will be handled. To learn more about call flows, feel free to check out the link in the description below. After signing up with Workies, you'll automatically receive a call flow that forwards numbers from your Workies number to the actual phone number entered when signing up for the Workies account. Let's show you how to set it up. The first thing I want to cover is how to change the pre-built call flow you receive when signing up so that calls are forwarded to a different number. If you want to learn more about how to create a second forwarding call flow, feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp provided. We'll head over to the call flow builder. Go ahead and hit the cogwheel from the navigation bar up here and then select settings. Under calls and texts, select call flows. If you've never been to this settings page before, you'll only see one call flow here. It should be titled forward to your name. This is the basic call flow provided to you upon signing up. It works great right out of the box, but you may also want to make some changes. Okay, let's quickly talk about how to edit this call flow so that calls aren't forwarded to you, but to a different member of your team. Maybe you have a dispatcher, a receptionist, or just a different member of your team responsible for receiving incoming calls. We'll hit the edit button right here, and it's going to take us straight into the call flow builder. The first thing we need to do here is change the name of this call flow to reflect the changes we're going to make. Instead of having it say forward to your name, we'll change it to the team member who's going to be receiving these calls. I'll change it to forward to Johnny. After that, we'll quickly set up the business hours. This is gonna dictate how calls are handled in this call flow. Calls during open hours go to the left for your team to answer. Calls during closed hours go to the right and straight to voicemail by default. Hit save once you're done. You can select the greeting step right here to change the message your clients hear when calling this number. There's a text-to-speech option ready to go by default, but you can edit that text or add your own MP3 file so that your customers hear an audio recording of your choice. Just make sure that you mention that the call is gonna be recorded if you're recording the call. Hit save once that's done. On the left side of your call flow, go ahead and click on the forward step under greeting. From the user tab, go ahead and choose the team member who should receive these calls. One very important thing to note here is that while you can forward calls to an external number, it is strongly discouraged. Forwarding calls to an external number may interrupt your call flow and even prevent the remaining steps of your call flow from taking place. Forwarding calls to an external number will also prevent unanswered calls from being marked as missed. Calls that are answered on an external number will not be tracked we recommend that you choose the soft phone option. The call can still ring that team member's device like normal, but it'll just come in as a workies phone call. Next, we'll need to decide how long an incoming call should remain on this step before moving on to the next step in our call flow. Basically, how long should this call ring before it moves on to the next step? Another important thing to mention here is that if you decided to forward a call to an external number, you should change this timer to be between 15 and 20 seconds. After about 20 seconds, most external devices are designed to go to their external voicemail. Once it goes to voicemail, the call cannot proceed to the remaining steps in this call flow. And because it goes to an external voicemail, that means the call won't be marked as missed as well. Not good. Again, that's only if you chose an external number. If you're going the soft phone route, we still recommend you bring this down to about 30 seconds so that your callers aren't waiting too long. Next, you can hit the advanced button right here to change the caller's ID so that your team doesn't see the caller's actual number, and even add a custom whisper message so that your team knows what this call is regarding before it begins. Hit save once you're done. After that, you can configure the voicemail message for missed calls during your open hours. Again, you can stick with the text-to-speech or upload an MP3. Same goes for your voicemail message for calls that come in during your closed hours. Once that's all done, you can hit Save Call Flow at the top of the page. Okay, now let's talk about how to create a second forwarding call flow. There's a few ways to do this. If you've already purchased a second Workies number, you can simply duplicate the call flow using this button right here, and then update the copy with that second number and the user who should receive the calls. Pretty simple. You can also automatically create a forwarding call flow when purchasing another Workies number. Let's show you how to do that. From the navigation bar at the top of the page, we'll go back to the settings menu. Under calls and texts, we'll select numbers. Next, we'll select the get a number button right here. We'll search for a number and then choose the one we want to purchase. Keep in mind that if you select get, you're agreeing to purchase this number. After that, it's going to ask you where you want to forward these incoming calls. If you just want to forward these calls to a member of your team, select user and then choose the user's name from the list. Once you hit save, Workies will automatically create a forwarding call flow for you. You can open that call flow and edit the configurations that we covered earlier. But if you're happy with the default settings, there's nothing else you have to do. And that's it. You're all set to start forwarding calls on Workies. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help improve your growing business. And as always, if you have any questions, we're here to help. Thanks for watching.